Jesus what is Christ. that? Just shit imagine right there, bro. Oh, isn't that dope? That's a Japanese artist made it for me. Isn't that sick? Bro, the Japanese are on some shit, bro. Definitely. We need to look into You know, the Japanese. that's the only people that the Mongols didn't take over. And why? Because the samurais fucked them up. The Mongols showed up and they tried to take over Japan on uh, several occasions, more than one occasion. And every time they were met with these fucking dudes who actually knew how to fight and were sword trained, were shooting arrows at distances. And they're like, whoa, what the fuck is going on here? Like, they were like the. If you think about samurais. What think, the fuck was a samurai? Like Jap Japan was the origins of karate, judo, jujitsu. All that shit came out of Japan. But we're talking all about feudal it. Japan. Like we're talking yeah. about kingdoms and Those such. Cyclones saved them. Japanese have always attributed their victory to storms and that wrecked the Mongols' fleets during both attempted invasions in 1970. Wow. Excuse me, 1274 and 1281. They concluded that Japan was protected from invasion by a divine wind or kamikaze, which was invoked in World War II to inspire pirates, pilots to launch suicide attacks on allied ships. <clears throat> so it could be storms, but also they fought. They definitely had hand-to-hand -hand combat. And a samurai was like, what is the equivalent of that today? Is that like a, is that a military dude or is yeah, that like a, a street dude? dude? I mean, it, eventually they became ronins. There was like a period of time during um, Musashi's era where there were mostly like samurais without a master and they would have like one-on-one -on -one duels. Mm. That's like the Book of Five Rings is based on Miyamoto Musashi's writings about- I don't know the book. Well, the greatest book of strategy and like, it was a guy who killed 62 men, at least 60, 60 men in one-on-one -on -one armed like like sword fights because you could come up to someone and just be like it's they on. would make duels they would decide to pl th to have duels and, I don't and that's know if to were. the death to the death with swords fucking and heck. musashi killed everybody <laughs> he was that <laughs> and dude. he became the boogeyman yeah he became the boogeyman and but his philosophy was that to be a great swordsman you had to be good at calligraphy you had to be good at poetry. You had to be able to to make art. Bro, imagine the dude that killed your dad was a poet. <laughs> Bro, imagine, imagine, imagine your dad died, and then the next day he's like, flowers are green, flowers are no. blue. <laughs> I don't think, we're talking about like haikus. I think we're talking about different kinds of poetry. <laughs> But he's trying to be well-rounded, I guess. 100%. Yeah, that any holes in your game, any, like, fake shit will expose itself in one-on-one -on -one combat. I wonder if, like, like John Jones would be the modern-day version of the elite samurai. Well, Like, are I we mean, looking at these guys, like, these UFC dudes, are we like, oh, this, the, this is the modern-day version of it. We just have a structure for them to operate in. It's sort of like that, but it's 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 actually probably more satisfying to the fighter because you're a modern day version in a thing where you're not going to get killed, right? But you're you well you could get killed, right? There is that Absolutely. reality. Most likely you won't. They have very good medical staff, but there's also that you are competing with your willpower, your technique, your knowledge, your 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 fucking physical gifts and you're doing it in front of the world yeah and the rewards like if you want to be john jones like good luck it's a lot of work but if you get to be john jones like wow imagine that feeling imagine that feeling of strangling cyril gone like fucking minute into the fight and everybody being like wow he's the goat that's the it. baddest man on the planet he's the goat yeah, there's no no one thinks like Tyson Fury could beat John Jones in a fight. Isn't that fucking interesting? No one thinks that. Tyson doesn't think that. You want to talk about who's the baddest man on the planet? If John Jones and Tyson Fury are locked into a room, game over. I'm pushing all my chips on black. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm like, let me tell you something. I'm like, tell you something. Tyson Fury is an amazing boxer. He doesn't have a yeah. fucking chance in hell of making it out of that Isn't room. That crazy. He has no chance of making it out of that room. Isn't that crazy? Zero chance. So if you, he would have to like catch John. He had to catch like, him immediately. Immediately with one punch, yeah. and I just don't see that happening, man. You, the threat of the takedown looms so large that shot will come so unexpectedly. 
when he gets his hands around you, you'll be so stunned. <laughs> so what is that like being John? Like, what is that like thinking there isn't another man on the planet that could do anything to you in hand-to-hand combat? Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure he feels great. Fuck. Yeah. Pretty nice. Wow. It's, uh, it's also a fleeting thing, right? Because when you get to be 40 and 42 and 43, oh, it goes away. away. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it all. Yeah. What about his brothers? Does, did you think he thinks he could fuck up his brothers? Dude, what great sperm. That's a good question. 